Turnberry Road. Changed in appearance a little bit. Um, used to have white trim and an older roof, and all of that's been taken care of, and we kind of like the results. We're going to go and take a look at the garden that we've done between the two houses that we were in. We decided to put a joint pathway in. Sometimes it's a little hard to carry the camera and walk at the same time. It's a little jiggy. The hydrangeas used to be a lot pinker. They're sort of on their last legs for the summer, but um, about a month ago they were just absolutely garden at the back there, that's actually a herb garden, so Don, our next door neighbor, and we have been enjoying some fresh herbs. And the flowers are, these little yellow flowers, they're edible flowers. So this is the onto wooded, um, a wooded ravine, and although we won't be able to show it on this tape, there's paths all through the ravine. Oh, I'll, I'll put it on. Oh, okay. Rob and I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Three days this summer, stripping and then restaining the deck. Most of the windows are new. This is my, over there on the left hand side is my clothes dryer. I've decided to dry my clothes outside. Your eco dryer. Right. And Rob cuts the grass now with a push mower, an eco mower. And behind us we have our composter, our eco garbage. There's a composter. And Don't just There's. <laughs> we think that's okay though. Yeah, so we just go to, we've got a little private path that goes from our property down to the main path on the ravine. So this is uh, the path. I think this is going to actually show pretty darn well. This is right behind our house. The beginning of the path and in the afternoon this is where we walk rascal because it's a lot cooler cooler back here um, and we just love walking along here it's never too crowded it's very peaceful you think you're in the middle of nowhere rascal's telling us to either come inside or or let him out Let's see if we can get the other guy. Oh, it's too dark. No. There he is, patiently waiting for us. Huh. Impatiently waiting guarding for Guarding his territory. So we're going to go in the, the patio. Our little seating area over here. There's Rascal. Here's the kitchen. So it looked pretty much the same when we moved in, but we found it was a little dysfunctional in some ways, so we had some modifications done to the cupboards. Made our pantry bigger and got rid of the microwave stand and put in an extra cabinet. We really like the, the kitchen. It was actually one of the reasons why we wanted to buy the house. That leads into the dining room, obviously. One of our favorite rooms in the house. It doesn't get enough use, but we sure like looking at it. We painted and had our furniture chairs bolstered and 
got new drapes in, in these two rooms, the dining room and the living room. And a new rug. A new rug in here and a new rug in the living room. Or we wouldn't be doing this video tape to show you. So there we have Alb Alvira's uh, table right there. A beautiful table it goes from the whole part decor. The uh, picture on the wall you can't see from this view. It's got too much reflection, but it's a, a prairie sunset scene since so both Rob and I are on the prairies. chairs, but they're, they're new to us. Most of this furniture is actually new right now. And there is our Vermont print that I picked up on a trip with Mom on Vermont quite a few years ago now. Hopefully these chairs show up. Here's our, our picture, our prairie sunset painting. Oops. Okay. Right entrance to our house. Come on, it'll show up with the light. But uh, this is where we start to get into some of Rob's treasures from around the world. He's going to have to say where some of these things are from. The helmet is a samurai helmet from Japan. Put something on the wall there. The little plaque is from Syria. The wood carving is from Tanzania. And the basket is from uh, South Africa. On the floor. This, from Dubai. this carpet is from Dubai. That's uh, African Barbie in the corner from Ethiopia. There's a statue of an Amazonian Indian on a desk and a knife from Jordan. The big mask is from Tanzania. The painting is from the Arctic of Canada, a well, it's gift from Kevin. It's needlework. It's needlework. It's yeah. the top part of um, moccasins. Yeah. Framed in a shadow box. Oh, hey, hang on. These two paintings are uh, were done by um, Mrs. Wilson, who used to live next door to us in Regina, and this was a, a housewarming present that Darcy gave us when we moved uh, into I think it was Grenfell. Yes. Very nice. And then this, these pots are, are uh, actually made in Indonesia, but we bought them at a bazaar in Ottawa. The wood carving is from Macedonia. It's all one piece of wood. The, the knife is from Jordan. The slippers are from Macedonia. So we'll go into the family room beside the kitchen. So there's our big screen TV that Kathy insisted we get. And Ma if anybody believes that, we've got some swampland in Florida. Mask from Nigeria. A painting is of refugees from Liberia. The little jars are a gift from Kevin from the north. The candle holders. Yeah, and this little guy here, he's from Ron, my brother Ron. Brought from Ron. The woman is from Ghana. The three things on the wall, uh, the mask is from Cuba. The thing in the center is from Uganda. And the shield is from Kazakhstan. There's a leather chair for TV watching. 